While electric vehicles have experienced a remarkable surge in popularity, driven by their undeniable environmental advantages over traditional gas-powered cars, they are not without their limitations. The primary drawback lies in the use of environmentally unfriendly lithium-ion batteries, which pose certain challenges and concerns. In parallel with the worldwide growth of wind and solar energy installations, the need for economical and efficient large-scale backup systems has become more pressing. These systems are designed to ensure a continuous supply of power during periods when sunlight or wind is limited. However, the current go-to solution for energy storage, lithium-ion batteries, remains prohibitively expensive for many of these applications. Furthermore, alternative options such as pumped hydro storage heavily depend on specific geographical features, making them inaccessible in certain regions. As a result, there is a demand for innovative and cost-effective alternatives that can overcome these limitations and provide reliable backup power on a large scale regardless of location. Fortunately, innovative alternatives are emerging to address this challenge. Scientists at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a U.S. university known especially for its science courses and research, have developed a new alternative to lithium-ion batteries, which if adopted, could revolutionize the entire EV industry. This revolutionary technology aims to provide cost-effective and scalable backup power for renewable energy systems, ensuring a continuous supply of electricity even during periods of low sun or wind. Welcome to EV Comet, your go-to source for the latest and most thrilling developments in the EV industry. Whether you're a longtime subscriber or new to our channel, we're delighted to have you here. If you enjoy our content, we kindly invite you to subscribe and show your support by giving us a thumbs up. Your feedback fuels our passion for creating more engaging videos. Let's take a deep delve into the world of cutting-edge energy storage technology and explore how this newfound option could transform the way we power our electric vehicles and support renewable energy systems around the globe. In a recent publication in the scientific journal Nature, MIT professor Donald Sadaway and a team of researchers from MIT, China, Canada, Kentucky, and Tennessee introduced a novel battery design. This innovative architecture utilizes aluminum and sulfur as the two electrode materials, separated by a molten salt electrolyte. The details of this groundbreaking battery technology are outlined in the Nature paper authored by Professor Donald Sadaway and his 15 colleagues. I wanted to invent something better, much better, than lithium-ion batteries for small-scale stationary storage and ultimately for automotive uses, explains Sadaway, who is the John F. Elliott Professor Emeritus of Materials Chemistry. The ingredients are cheap, and the thing is safe, it cannot burn, Professor Donald Sadaway further stated. In addition to their high cost, lithium-ion batteries possess a flammable electrolyte, making them less than ideal for transportation. Therefore, Sadaway embarked on a study of the periodic table, searching for inexpensive metals abundant on Earth that could potentially replace lithium. While iron, the most commercially dominant metal, lacks the necessary electrochemical properties for an efficient battery, aluminum, the second most abundant metal on Earth and the most abundant in the marketplace, emerged as a promising option. Sadaway decided to make aluminum one of the electrodes. The next step was to determine the suitable partner for aluminum as the other electrode and the type of electrolyte to facilitate the movement of ions during charging and discharging. Sulfur, the cheapest among all non-metals and often a byproduct of processes like petroleum refining, was chosen as the second electrode material. As for the electrolyte, Sadaway ruled out the use of volatile and flammable organic liquids found in some lithium-ion batteries, which have been associated with dangerous fires. The team experimented with various polymers but ultimately explored different molten salts with relatively low melting points, comparable to the boiling point of water. Sadaway found that operating at near-body temperature made it practical to create batteries that did not require special insulation or anti-corrosion measures. The three components they settled on, aluminum, sulfur, and widely available salts, are affordable and easily obtainable. Aluminum, similar to the foil found in supermarkets, poses no difference. Sulfur, often a waste product in various industrial processes, is readily accessible. In terms of safety, Sadaway notes, that the battery is incapable of catching fire. In their experiments, the team demonstrated that the battery cells could endure numerous cycles at exceptionally high charging rates, and the projected cost per cell was approximately one-sixth of comparable lithium-ion cells. They also discovered that the charging rate was heavily influenced by the operating temperature, with 110 degrees Celsius, 230 degrees Fahrenheit, 
exhibiting 25 times faster rates than 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Interestingly, the molten salt chosen as the electrolyte due to its low melting point unexpectedly possessed a beneficial property. One of the major challenges in battery reliability is the formation of dendrites, which are thin metal spikes that accumulate on one electrode and eventually bridge the gap to the other electrode, causing a short circuit and hindering efficiency. However, the selected salt proved to be effective in preventing this issue. The chosen chloroaluminate salt essentially eliminated these runaway dendrites while enabling rapid charging, according to Sadaway. Even at very high charging rates, where the batteries could be charged in less than a minute, the cells never failed due to dendrite shorting. Furthermore, the battery does not require an external heat source to maintain its operating temperature. The charging and discharging processes naturally generate heat electrochemically, preventing the salt from freezing. This characteristic makes the battery suitable for applications such as load leveling at solar generation facilities. In this scenario, electricity is stored during daylight hours and then utilized after sunset, with the charge-discharge cycle generating sufficient heat to maintain the battery's temperature. Sadaway suggests that this new battery formulation is ideal for installations the size of a single home or small to medium-sized businesses, providing storage capacity in the range of a few tens of kilowatt hours. For larger installations, such as utility-scale projects requiring tens to hundreds of megawatt hours, alternative technologies, like the liquid metal batteries his team previously developed, which led to the establishment of a spin-off company called Ambry, might be more effective. Ambry aims to launch its first product shortly and was instrumental in Sadaway winning the European Inventor Award. The smaller scale of the aluminum sulfur batteries also makes them practical for electric vehicle charging stations. Sadaway explains that when multiple EVs need to charge simultaneously, similar to the situation with gasoline fuel pumps, the high amperages required exceed the capacity of the existing power lines. In such cases, deploying a battery system like this one to store and release power rapidly could eliminate the need for costly installation of new power lines to support the charging infrastructure. A new spin-off company called Avanti has already been established based on this technology. The company has acquired the patents for the system and was co-founded by Sadaway and Luis Ortiz, who were also involved in the creation of Ambry. The immediate goal for Avanti is to demonstrate the scalability of the battery and subject it to rigorous stress tests, including hundreds of charging cycles. Regarding concerns about noxious odors associated with sulfur, Sadaway assures that the battery's sealed design prevents any foul smells. He explains that the rotten egg smell associated with hydrogen sulfide gas is not an issue with this battery since it utilizes elemental sulfur enclosed within the cells. Comparatively, opening a lithium-ion cell in a kitchen would result in the generation of unpleasant gases due to the reaction between the cell's contents and moisture in the air. If you liked this video, hit the like button and send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Subscribe now to be the first to watch our upcoming video and embark on a journey to a greener and more sustainable future. Thanks for watching.